offset, we're talking a little bit about uh, a phrase back in 1 Peter 1, verse 3. When Peter talks about hope, he adds the word lively, hope. And I just love that idea. For me, as I think about Jesus Christ, as I think about his birth and his life and what it all means for me, is the, for me, the word lively, is, is a synonym would be living. There's this living hope. I honestly believe that it's one thing for me to know that he was born, but is he born in me? Uh, Elder Bednar invited us to, to not no, just know that Jesus Christ died for us, but he now, through the atonement, through the Holy Ghost, wants to live in us. That's changing me. I, I think about that all the time now, and I start to think about, okay, I believe in him, and I even believe that he'll walk with me, but it's almost like a step further. Do I have this lively hope that I believe that Jesus Christ lives in me? I just feel this confidence and this power that, Ryan, we're doing this together. Um, that's, I, I was born in Bethlehem, and I went through it, and then I lived my life and, and, and suffered and went through the atoning sacrifice so that I can now live in you so that you can now become me. And, and I just, I mean, it, I can't, I, it thrills me. It thrills my heart to think that there is something so magnificent that as imperfect as I am, that if I'm trying to keep covenants, that Jesus Christ can live in me. And then all of a sudden you start to say, what can't we do? <laughs>